Hey, this is Dave Calabro. Thanks for watching Talk with Taj. We're gonna break it down. Stay with us. You've been you've been doing uh, sports on Channel 13 for for a long time. What have you seen in the youth? The change in the youth between when you first started and, and now? Well, that's a great question. I've been sport. Yeah. Oh, I've been doing sports for 22 years in Indianapolis. I, I spend most of my Friday nights, about every Friday night, at various high schools, and it's been kind of shocking to see what's happened over the past 10 years in our town. Now, things you can tell things are starting to change. Um, you know, people don't attend school. You don't, you don't feel that camaraderie, that school spirit, especially in the metro area. And I, I figure it's time for all of us that we all got to step up and do something. Um, students, they're not going to school, as you said. And there's a there's a broken relationship between students and teachers when there used to be a unified relationship. Yeah. What's happened with the relationship between students and teachers, and what do you think can ha uh, what do you think needs to happen to be able to bring that back together again? You know, I've just seen so many kids that, that, that have kind of lost hope. They, for some reason, don't have hope anymore. They don't have a dream. Uh, when I was a kid, I had uh, teachers and parents and friends that uh, came alongside me and, and would encourage me when times got tough, when I was looking for something. And I think kids these days, uh, they get in a rough spot. They don't know how to handle difficulty or a tough cir circumstance. Yeah. And they go looking for something. And a lot of times that means the gangs. we got to fill the gap. we got to step up and show them Hey, we care, and uh, you know, I think it takes uh, it takes everybody to, to raise a kid. I can think even I have two boys. I can think about all the people that stepped up for my children that were there in the gap when I wasn't there to, to help raise them. And that goes back to the uh, takes a village to raise kids. Yeah. But now the villages are fighting amongst each other yeah. in the community. So how can we get that back? And what is it going to take to get the community to say, you know what, enough is enough. Let's start rebuilding what we pretty much. Do. Destroyed all these you know. Yeah, yeah, I think this is not a, a Republican, a Democrat, a black, white, zebra stripe issue. I think we're all in this together. I think we got to find a way to bridge the gap with kids, to relate to them more and, and come alongside them and love on them and, and give them some hope and some dreams and let them realize, hey, guess what? Dave Calabro, the sports guy at Channel 13, I didn't make straight A's. I made stupid mistakes. I, I did some things that I'm not proud of, but guess what? I kept working at it and people come alongside me and they kept lifting me up. That's what it takes to keep kids from getting in more trouble, I think. So this program, yeah. uh, Him by Her Foundation, what do you think, how's this going to impact the community, especially here on the east side? I, I think this has a huge potential. That's why I've decided to jump and get involved. The idea here is that kids that have already gotten in trouble, kids that are at risk, that are looking for something, this would be an after-school program where kids would be coming to this center that will open up. And this will be a village inside this old school. There will be a village in here. There will be a Home Depot store where you can learn how to, what it means to work at a hardware store. There will be a radio station. Maybe your mind says, hey, I want to be a radio DJ sometime. Well, how about owning the radio station? We're going to teach these kids to, to have a dream. What's it mean to have a dream? To go, I'm going to be on radio someday. Or, hey, you want to learn about the, what it's like to be a police officer. We're going to have a police station here. What about being in the military? You can go upstairs and learn from ROTC what it means to wow, what's it really look like to have a career working in the military? So these kids who don't normally get a chance to touch base with somebody like myself or, a, a, hey, who knows, maybe Reggie Wayne's going to show up someday from the Indianapolis Colts and he's going to teach these kids, hey, guess what? I didn't have an easy road either. I had to work at my dreams. Um, maybe we could spark, you know, a year from now, we get 10 kids that have come through here and, and they have got something going on in their head. They're chasing a dream. I feel like we've, we've made an impact. That's what this is all about. Then on the other hand, the whole idea is to train single parents. There's a lot of single parents in our community yeah. that, that don't have hope. They don't have any skills. So they can come to the center too, and we're going to have some different ways they can learn a skill. Maybe it's plumbing, uh, electric, maybe it's secretarial. Maybe it's, how do I do it? How do I make a resume? Exactly. There's a lot of people that have no clue. What, what, what's a resume? What's a resume look like? What, what kind of talents can I offer somebody? That's what this whole area, this center is all about. Now, we know when something bad happens, yeah. everybody comes rushing out to the cameras, everybody, yes. everybody's screaming for help, but when you have a program or an event that's promoted yeah. and, and advertised to come out and speak, show your voice, you, you, you don't get the turnout necessarily that you're always looking for. Right. How, do, how do we get people to believe in what's really going on so they can, you know what, 
okay, I, I know it's real, so let me go over here and be a part of this. Yeah, I, I think that it's going to take baby steps, and I think we've just taken a couple of baby steps. I've been meeting with uh, Officer Dunn for about a month now. He's had this dream for about three years. There's already curriculum out there that for kids that's already in place. Um, we, we've got all this already up and running, and, and now we need to find sponsors. It's people like Jim Ursay just stepped up and gave us $100,000. We, we still need probably another two hundred thousand dollars to really make the doors come open. Our goal is to have this open in January. Okay. Start seeing some kids coming through. I think once we get the doors open and people start seeing kids showing up here, people in the neighborhood are like, oh, "Wow, what's going well, on? Well, right. check this out." And then we see people from the suburbs coming here to volunteer their time. You see people coming here, white, black, it doesn't matter. Here working together to help inspire some kids. I think that's where we'll start to see some change. If you have a message that you can give to the city of Indianapolis, you know, you know the city very well. You yeah. grew up here in the city, yeah. don't lose in the city. Yeah. If there's one message you can give the city right now, what would that be? Well, I think my message I would give people is we all have a sphere of influence, as I call it. There are people in your community that can impact somebody. How can you watching this impact one kid. How can you make it different in a kid's life? How can you make it different in, in, a, in a neighbor's life? I think that's what it's all about, is, is stepping up and being there to, to fill the gap for somebody. Who who can you uh, help out in, in your area that, that, that you, you have an impact on? I think we all have those people. It was the Dave Collabo drop on Channel 13. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? This is Dave Calabro from Channel 13. Thanks for watching right now. Talk with Taj. I'm proud to be on here.